Hello my friends, welcome to your practice. Do you feel like moving with me? Yay, let's do this. So if you don't have a yoga block handy, don't worry about it. You can grab a book or even a blanket, a tin of something or a yoga block, just one of them to have to hand. You won't necessarily use it, but it's nice to have some props laying around. All right, so you can place it towards the top of your mat for now. And let's just get onto our hands and knees and begin with movement. So sometimes I find that when I'm arriving at my mat, it can be hard to just sit and do a meditation practice, for example. And so what really helps me to get into the zone is to just work with the energy that's there, especially if my energy is a little bit all over the place, okay? So we're just gonna embrace what we have and work with it. So there's a lot of energy, greet that energy, take some movements, any direction that feels good, just let it be intuitive. And I'm spreading my fingers out here and just really sensing the ground underneath me. So what we're doing is tapping into support, spreading the fingers out, maybe shifting the weight from one side to the other. Finding our foundations, hopefully feeling a sense of evenness, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Be grateful for what you have, this body, what it can do and what it can't do. It's all good, we respect what's there. Okay, so we're gonna take the left elbow and bring it towards the ground. So take it nice and slow. What we're doing is just prepping the body with a little bit of gentle twisting. So you're gonna switch elbows, now bringing the right elbow towards the ground. So as you do that, just notice what naturally wants to happen in the body. So for most of us, there's a little twist going on from one side to the other. You can exaggerate that if you want. Hopefully that feels good for you. And you can stay with that movement. Those of you that feel, I just want more, give me more. You're gonna take one arm underneath you and lay the side of your head down. So if that's feeling way too much, just skip it. So sometimes this is called threading the needle. And then gently come back up to center. And if you threaded the needle on one side, you're gonna thread it to the other side. So the shoulder that's up in the air, the one that's not touching the ground, see if you can roll that back in space a little, that's gonna increase the amount that you're twisting. But try and keep the head and the neck relaxed. And then come back up to center. Nice, feel free to do a little freestyle on your hands and knees. Spreading the fingers around. Maybe starting to take some circles with the ribs. R&B grind, 101. <laughs> so any way that feels good here, maybe reversing the direction. All right. So hopefully we're starting to gather the energy up. So as I said, we're working with what we've got. If there is a lot of frantic energy, we can use that. It's all good. We just need to focus it somewhere. So let's explore that on your hands and knees. We're gonna reach the right leg out behind you and you can point or floint, there's a cracking going on, <laughs> point, uh, point, floint the back toes. Maybe take some circles there if you've got some crunchiness going on in the ankles. And then think about your belly. So we're working the energy from the, the foot and the toes up the leg. So you wanna point the toes to face down as opposed to turning the leg out for now for this particular focus. And you're gonna work up towards the belly and see if you can lift the navel. And then see how that feels in your body. I think for most of us, there's a sense of support as we find our center, so to speak. And then maybe we stay there. Maybe you take the opposite hand to the leg that's in the air and perhaps reach that out in front of you. So if it's feeling wobbly, know that you can always bring the hand back to earth. It's all good, okay? Sometimes it helps to use the focus. Focus the gaze on something on the floor in front of you. Remember to keep the navel lifted. 
feel that charge and then we're going to add like something that makes this a hundred times more difficult <laughs> sorry so you're going to take that front elbow and back knee and you're going to bring them together underneath you to meet do, 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 do. <sighs> let the spine round chin towards the chest you've got this and we're going to extend again inhaling opening lift the navel and exhale rounding in soften the jaw soften the tongue one more of these inhaling opening up spread the fingers on the hand that's on the floor and exhale rounding in <laughs> lovely and then bring the hand and the knee back to the floor if you need to sit back into those fingers take a figure eight figure eight with your hands knuckles something like that all right so the hand that's on the floor if it's feeling too much to just have the hand on the floor you can always make a fist See how that goes for you and or take breaks. That goes without saying, but I say it anyway. Take as many breaks as you need. Okay, other side then, my friends. When you're ready, left leg reaches back behind you, point, floyd, point, floyd, circles, maybe both directions, la, 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 la. Then point the toes to face down. You can still point or floyd, but try and turn the toes down as opposed to out to the side down, down, down. And as you do that, maybe you can feel that sensation moving from the toes up the leg to the hip. So the hip starts to roll down. And then from there, move up a little bit more to the navel, lift the navel, lift the navel, lift the navel. Maybe you stay there breathing. Maybe you start to experiment, reaching the right arm out in front of you. Those of you who want to challenge your balance and your focus, maybe you've got a little bit more energy that you want to channel. Start to look up towards those right fingertips. I can remember. Nice, so that makes it much more hard, but you know, we can do hard things. So from here, we're gonna go into the movement. As you exhale, knee and, knee and elbow meet. Rounding the spine, chin to chest, and inhaling, reaching out, get long, lift the navel, feel the support, and exhale, rounding in. One more of these, extend out in all directions, and exhale, rounding in, soften jaw, soften the jaw, soften the tongue, and then release that down, and then feel free to RB grind freestyle, maybe even adding the elbows, letting the elbows go a bit ham. Ham or mm, vegan cheese, something like that. <laughs> nice, down dog, let's meet there. Whew. So in your down dog, feel free to add that movement, maybe just side to side or turning the knees in one direction and the other, whatever's working for you. Let the head go. And then just rest your gaze somewhere on the mat. Maybe it's kind of a space between your feet. So if you can let the muscles around your eyes relax, spread the toes, find your breath. Nice, then inhale high onto your tiptoes. And exhale forward to plank pose. Taking an inhale here in plank, remember how you charge that energy by lifting the navel. Reach out through the heels, reach out through the crown of the head. And then bend the knees, exhale back to down dog. Ooh, that's a spicy one. One more of those, inhale high onto the tiptoes. And exhale, coming forward, get long through the back of the neck. Soften the front of the throat. Take an inhale here, and then exhale, lower yourself all the way down to the floor, onto the belly. <laughs> so from here, you wanna feel the legs nice and long. So you can lift one up, reach it back, press it down, same with the other leg, and then swing the arms back behind you, and then turn the palms to face down. And then if you can, you're just gonna roll up as if your fingers are trying to reach something back behind you, as if you're gonna grab a bar or something, or a rope or whatever. So we're just strengthening the back muscles here. Ooh, so the front body can get a lot of focus. So you wanna feel a sense of balance. 
and then release, come all the way down to the floor. Feel free to make a little pillow for your head with your hands. You're welcome to turn your head to one side if that feels good. Soften the belly, let the heels of your feet fall out to the edges of your mat. Take a couple of breaths here. Nice. And then when you're ready, we'll make our way back to down dog. So in your own time, make your way there. Lovely, from down dog, slowly inhale, right leg up into the air, reach out through the toes, as well as out through the fingertips. As you exhale, bring your right knee towards your nose, and now shift that right knee over to the left, and then kick the foot out, let the foot land. So you're in a wonky triangle situation. Maybe you stay here, feel the belly charge up, bring the back heel down to the floor, and then maybe you can start to find a kind of arm balance of sorts. Press into the feet, press into the hand, lift the hips. You're doing great. Take a deep inhale here. Those of you that are feeling like spicy meatballs, press into the back foot and maybe hover that right leg, maybe. Spread the toes, press out through the heel. And then left hand to the floor, re-bend that right knee and then set it down on the ground. Pigeon pose, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> you can bring that right heel closer towards your special parts. From here, we might, you might sway a little bit side to side to find that evenness between the left and the right side. Maybe point the back toes if that feels good. And in this pigeon, it's going to be semi-active but semi-chill. Okay, so do what you need to do, babes. I've been enjoying just gently taking a twist in my pigeon very slowly so i like to imagine this is weird but take it or leave it i like to imagine i'm just kind of perusing the horizon so i'm not trying to look up and crane my head i'm not trying to look down i'm just perusing <laughs> gazing across the horizon looking over my right shoulder at the horizon behind me as you do that what you're doing is getting into the hip flexors can feel nice for some of us and then slowly gazing over the left. So you're gonna get more into that right glute. Then back to center, tuck the back toes, press into the hands, find your base first. So find those foundations, focus your energy and pressing down into them. Then draw the navel in, see if you can hover that front knee. Yeah, and then stretch that leg up into the air, wave it around. Whew. Let that go. Oh, how are we doing? <laughs> Focusing and channeling our energy. Sweep the leg, leg up, left, <laughs> left leg up into the air. And then as you exhale, bring that left knee forward, chin towards the chest. Okay, I should have thought about space here, shouldn't I? Never mind. Now take that left knee over to the right. Kick the leg out. Maybe the foot can come to the ground. Maybe you stay here in this wonky triangle. Maybe the back heel comes to the floor. Maybe right arm reaches up, lift the hips, navel draws in. How are we doing? Semi okay. Those of you that want extra spicy meatballs, press the back foot in particular down, as well as the, the left hand. And perhaps you can hover, hover the left leg up in space for three, for two, oh one. Right hand comes down, bend that front knee. Slide on into your pigeon pose. Come to land. <laughs> so feel free to just chill if it's too much with the twist. But if you feel like joining me, just gazing, gazing out <laughs> into the middle distance. What's over there? What's behind me? Mm, I'm not sure. Oh dear. It's a good job I'm not an actress, isn't it? Anymore. Enough said. Okay, so from pigeon pose, replace the hands on the floor, spread the fingers out, tuck the back toes. We've got this, right? <laughs> Lift the back knee. Charge up by using the energy that you've got. So don't work from a place where you're depleted or empty. So we know that we've, we've got ground underneath us to support us. So press down into it and then charge up the navel. Draw it in. 
maybe hover the knee and then swing that leg back, wave it all around. La 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 la. La 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 la. Come back into down dog. Maybe you stay in down dog. Maybe you take a rest in child's pose. Maybe you inhale high onto your tiptoes. Exhale forward to plank. Taking an inhale and plank, get long through the heels, through the crown of the head. Exhale down to your belly. Fingertips to the floor, tops of the feet down. Take a little swim. <laughs> Lots of water references here. Yeah, that's, yeah, we'll work with that. <laughs> so just rolling the shoulders around, rolling up and down, staying long through the side body. Mm, and then push back, down dog. Well done. Take a breath. Nice, inhale, right leg up into the air. Exhale, step the right foot to the outside of your right hand. So it's super wide. Turn the right toes and the right knee out a little bit and then bring the left knee down to the floor. Maybe that's enough. Maybe your left hand stays down and right arm reaches up for a twist. Maybe you stay there, maybe you lower your platter of sausages, any form, reach the fingers back behind you, maybe bend the back knee, catch the foot, kick the foot back behind you. Nice, now we're gonna, we're gonna alternate our sausage plate. So release the toes, turn the thumb down, and now grab the inside of the foot and imagine you're kind of turning your head away in disgust. In fact, do that. Turn your head and your torso away. Not in disgust, with love. <laughs> you know what I mean. So turn towards the front of your mat. Maybe even gaze down to that front hand, left hand on the floor. So now we're just moving where this energy is. Maybe you'll feel it around the quad. And then release that. Tuck the back toes, meet you in down dog, however you want to get there. And once again, whenever you make it back to down dog, see if you can use your gaze to settle your focus, settle your energy, find that place between your toes. Lovely, when you're ready, inhale, left leg up. As you exhale, left foot to the outside of the left hand. So foot is wide, turn the toes and the knee out, bring the back knee down. Obviously goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway, especially for those of you new in the house, you can always pad up that back knee. You don't wanna be on the bone, you wanna be on that flesh right above the knee joint. Okay, then left arm reaches up. Maybe this is it, and this is wonderful. Jazz hands. Maybe <laughs> you bend the back knee and grab hold of the foot. So I've got the outer edge of the foot here. I'm kicking the foot away. Then we're gonna switch it up. So releasing your platter of sausages. So rather than the palm facing up, you're gonna do the opposite. Turn the thumb down and then grab the inside of the foot and you're gonna turn away. Like I'm looking over here now. And then maybe even gazing down towards your front hand. Finding your breath here. And then release. Down dog, however you wanna get there. So feel free to take a flow of any sort. Feel free to take a rest. We're gonna take it down to the floor as we close the practice. But first of all, just give your energy a little check-in. And then bring knees down to the floor. Swing the legs out in front of you. Come to lie on your back. Okay, we'll just close by rolling our way down to the mat. So take your time here. See if you can really slow it down. Oh, yeah. For bridge pose. Okay. So feet about hip width distance apart. You can rest your arms anywhere that you like. And see if you can focus your bridge, particularly in your heels. Press the energy through the heels for this one in particular. And then see if you can take your knees forward. So imagine in space, the knees are gonna move forward. Maybe you can start to feel the bottom lift away from the mat. Keep channeling the energy into the heels and reaching the knees forward. We're trying to open up space around the front of the hips. Throat is soft. 
and it's like you're very slowly winding up into a gentle bridge pose. Nice, and maybe you stay up in bridge, maybe you roll up and down, depending on what you feel like doing with your energy. If you wanna maintain pressing into the floor, you can do that. Maybe even add some arm action, just reaching the arms up and over. And then we'll all come down, bringing the arms back up, and then slowly rolling everything down to earth. Just pausing when you meet the floor, take the feet wide, drop the knees together, take a moment. Just notice where the energy shifts. And then keep the right knee rolling in and just let the left knee roll out. Little sway. And then do the opposite, bring the knees up to center. Drop the left knee in, right knee out. Sending the knee forward and away from you. Arch the back, bring the navel in. And then knees up to center, hug them towards your chest, give yourself a hug, maybe even lift the head, the chest, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then take the hands underneath your knees. Start to rock a little. <laughs> Maybe all the way up. <laughs> Take your block, which I didn't really use, but hey, it's fun. Find a seat, any seat. Maybe kneeling. Take a moment just to check in. How's your energy? How are you feeling? And then bring your hands together and just give them a rub. Any excess scattered energy, focus it here in your hands. And then anywhere you feel like you could use a bit of calm, a bit of love, a bit of tenderness, just start to hover your hands over that region. Just feel the heat, that energy that you used, you charged up created, connected with, and then give yourself a loving touch <laughs> and a round of applause. I hope that that helped you to work with your energy, to shift it in a place that felt supportive and hopefully more focused. Let me know how you go. I hope you enjoyed the practice. I loved practicing with you. Thank you for being here and see you soon.